Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my tutorial on how to route the uh, stock ice cream sandwich or the official release of ICS for the Samsung Galaxy Note N7000. So just to show you guys, I'm currently running uh, 4.0.3 and that's uh, XXLPY. This is the stock uh, official uh, ice cream sandwich version for the Galaxy Note. Uh, this should work with future releases as well. Uh, so and I do not have any root access right now so what we need to do is download the files from link 1 and 2 you will get two files one that says cwm.zip and you need to place cwm.zip on your external SD and the other file you get su-busybox-installer.zip uh, that would be link 2 and link 2 goes to the in internal SD so link 1 goes to external and link 2 goes to inst I mean goes to internal and once you've done that hold the up volume power and the home keys at the same time you might end up taking a screenshot but keep holding it your phone will reboot and you can let it go once you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed on screen and now if you are in the stock recovery so now go ahead and choose apply update from external storage uh, and hit the power button now scroll down and select cwm.zip and hit the power button again so this will take about a minute at max okay so now over here select install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card and now scroll down and you should find su busybox installer.zip so hit it and select yes and now go back and hit reboot system now now you should have super user perm permissions right now alright now if, uh, let's check if we got super user privileges so mobile loading And uh, you can see I've got super user uh, permissions. Okay, guys, uh, now that we have mobile loading up, uh, in order to get a custom recovery installed, what we need to do next is go ahead and uh, download the Z image file from link 3. So, and transfer that onto your external SD. So, now go down, tap open file, external SD card, and select the Z image file alone so you can see that the kernel the kernel shows the image now go down and just hit flash firmware and hit continue again guys none of this procedure is not gonna go ahead and trigger your flash counter I will show that at the end of this video you will have full root access along with a uh, custom recovery installed after this So we are back up again. So now, uh, okay, okay, we are back up again. So now, what we're gonna do is boot back into recovery and see whether we get custom recovery. So up volume, power, and home buttons again, and wait till the phone reboots and let the keys go once you uh, see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed on screen. We let it go. And there we have clockwork mode recovery and uh, full root. Okay, I almost forgot. Just to show you guys, I'm gonna go into the download mode right now. Down volume, power, and home. Just to show you that the counter has not been triggered. And there you see. Uh, custom binary custom binary download says no which means my counter has not been triggered so that's pretty much it guys when it comes to uh, routing and uh, installing a custom recovery on your uh, on your phone run on your galaxy note running in a, 
official version of uh, ice cream sandwich. If you guys have any kind of questions, uh, hit me up in the comment section or you can email me or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. All my contact details are in the description. So uh, uh, before you go guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and share the video if you find it useful. And if you guys want to do me a favor, hit, hit up my link to Amazon in the description. If you want to purchase something off Amazon, use the link. Uh, purchase anything you want, not just Galaxy Note related stuff, whatever it is, I get paid a commission, so it doesn't hurt for me to ask. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, stay subscribed. I uh, will be coming out with more videos on the Galaxy Note. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye now.